birds have some pretty extraordinary nest building abilities. They're able to build remarkable structures ranging from intricately woven designs to massive chaotic constructions. So get ready to be amazed by the diversity and complexity of these feathered architects. Today, we're counting down the top 15 most unbelievable bird's nests. Starting at number 15, the sociable weaver bird's nest. When it comes to unbelievable, colossal nests, the sociable weaver wins the crown. These behemoth nests are found in the Kalahari Desert in southern Africa, and the nests are the result of the sociable weaver bird's remarkable collaborative efforts. These nests are among the largest constructed by any bird species and can reach staggering lengths of 20 feet. As for their height, well, it's equally as impressive. Social weaver bird's nests can weigh upwards of several tons. The nests are constructed in both thorn and acacia trees, and they serve several important functions. The sheer size of these nests serve as protection from predators, so they're the perfect place to raise a brood of weavers. But given their location, they also serve as a vantage point for food sources, so keeping that brood fed is pretty easy. And because they live in harsh desert conditions, their nests help keep them cool by regulating the temperature. Sociable weaver birds are highly social birds, hence their name. They live in colonies and share the task of constructing and maintaining these nests, which is how they're able to build nests of this gargantuan size. But these sociable weavers don't just build together, they also forage in flocks. In fact, these weavers are highly dependent on one another and highly dependent on their nests. They take great care of building these colossal nests, and so much so that they pass down their nests from generation to generation. They fortify their nests along the way, too, but some social weaver bird nests have been around for quite a long time, so these nests are not a fly-by-night sort of deal. Number 14. Edible Nest of the Swiftlet Nestled within the depths of caves across Southeast Asia, there's an extraordinary treasure. Edible swiftlet nests are unique because they're a coveted and highly sought after culinary delight in Asia. Edible nest swiftlet nests are predominantly found in the dark and remote caves of countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines. These nests are meticulously crafted by the edible nest swiftlet, which is a small bird known for its agility and its ability to navigate through dark cave systems. The nests themselves are mostly made of the bird's saliva, which hardens into a gelatinous substance upon exposure to air. This saliva binds with other materials like feathers, moss, and bits of lichen, creating a cup-shaped structure that adheres to the cave walls. So basically, the nests are made from bird spit that clings to the cave walls. And oddly enough, that sounds really appetizing to some people. The nests are a prized culinary treat in Asian cuisine, but given how hard they are to find, they're crazy expensive. Collectors of these nests brave treacherous cave systems, often navigating in near darkness and avoiding steep drops. So needless to say, it's not for the faint of heart. Collecting these things requires expertise and a keen eye, as the nests often blend in seamlessly to the cave walls. And adding more difficulty, these swiftlet nests are typically located in high or hard-to-reach areas of the caves, requiring climbers to ascend using ropes or specialized equipment. So why go through all that trouble? Well, the nests are rich in protein, and they're believed to have a wide range of health benefits. They're commonly used to prepare bird's nest soup, which is a revered and luxurious delicacy, known for its unique gelatinous texture, and they do fetch a pretty penny. The most expensive type, the red nest swiftlet nest, can fetch upwards of $6,000 per pound. Number 13, the bowerbird nest. Not all nests are twigs and leaves. Some birds have nests that are colorful and captivating. If birds hired other birds for bird nest interior design, then bower birds would be top pick. Why? Because bower birds like it bright and beautiful. Bower birds aren't satisfied with boring and bland traditional nest building materials. Instead, they eagerly collect anything of color that they can get their beaks on. And by anything, I mean anything. Leaves, rocks, shells, feathers, berries, coins, nails, rifle shells, tiny bits of plastic, you name it. This bird will use it in their nest. In fact, the male bowerbirds invest an incredible amount of effort and time in perfecting their nests, and they do it all in the name of love. They meticulously arrange and rearrange their collections, trying to attract female bowerbirds. And get this, while the male birds spend a ridiculous amount of time scavenging for anything colorful and carefully arranging it, the female birds are equally meticulous in their inspection of the nests. There is no room for laziness with these birds. Only the male birds with the best nests win. The female birds have very high standards, of course, and any nest that doesn't make the cut won't have mating rights. 
Bowerbirds are found across Australia and New Guinea, and each species has its own creative flair when it comes to nest building. For this reason, their nests showcase a wide range of styles and decorative choices to woo and win the hearts of the female. All the things we do for love. Number 12, the oven bird nest. When you first hear the name of this next bird, your mind might wander to images of roasted chickens or turkeys, but their name, oven bird, actually comes from the shape of their nests. Oven birds make nests that resemble primitive cooking pots, complete with lids. The most distinctive nest hails from the red oven bird. Now, this bird builds nests that resemble a sturdy, a round clay structure. It is an arduous task, taken on by breeding pairs. All in, they invest about six weeks of time to craft these robust nests. They build them layer by layer, using clay and other materials they gather from the surroundings. The result is a super strong nest that protects the eggs and nestlings from predators, as well as harsh environmental conditions. But along with their unbelievable nests, these birds have also shown extraordinary adaptability. As human encroachment alters their natural landscapes, these resourceful birds have utilized man-made structures like buildings and walls to protect their young. This has allowed them to relinquish their sturdy nests to other types of birds, such as the saffron finch. So other birds have been able to take advantage of the strong nests built by the red oven bird, which has contributed to the ecological diversity in these areas. So it's not uncommon to see a different type of bird nestled up inside of an oven bird's nest, while the oven bird itself has moved on and used a man-made structure to raise its young in or on. Number 11, the Southern Masked Weaver. The Southern Masked Weaver, or Plosius volatus, as it's scientifically called, is a small, lively bird native to Southern Africa. This bird is celebrated for its striking appearance. With its yellow plumage and distinct black facial mask, the Southern Masked Weaver captivates onlookers with its vibrant presence. This is especially true during mating season, when the males undergo a dramatic transformation, showcasing vibrant yellow feathers and a striking black facial mask to attract potential mates. The females, on the other hand, display more muted plumage, blending in with their surroundings. But it's not just about looks for this little bird. The southern masked weaver is also an exceptional nest builder, too, and its ability to construct intricate nests is the envy of other birds. These birds are typically found in savannas, woodlands, and grasslands of southern Africa, and they truly have some pretty phenomenal nest building prowess. These birds construct intricate nests, often suspended from tree branches or built among reeds over bodies of water. The nests hang like woven orbs, showcasing unparalleled design. They truly are a marvel to behold. Now, these birds use blades of grass, strips of leaves, and other plant materials, and it's the male weavers that meticulously weave and knot these materials together. The result is a strong and intricate structure. But the really fascinating part is that these nests often have a unique entrance tunnel. This tunnel serves as both a protective measure and as a pathway leading into the inner chambers where the eggs are laid and the young are raised. These nests are relatively large with a spherical structure and an average diameter of 8 to 12 inches. However, despite their size, the nests are pretty lightweight, secure, and well-ventilated, just as a nest should be. Number 10, Hammercop Nests. The hammer cop, often referred to as the hammerhead stork or umber bird, stands out in the avian realm for its remarkable nesting habits and architectural prowess. As wading birds, hammer cops inhabit various regions across Africa, from Madagascar to Arabia, where they create nests that defy the norms of bird construction. These aren't the tiny nests you'll find nestled between tree branches. These nests are gigantic. On average, a hammer cop nest is around five feet in diameter. In fact, the hammer cop holds the distinction of building some of the largest nests ever documented in the world. For example, one of the largest hammer cup nests ever recorded measured in at nearly 10 feet across. With a size like that, it's more like a small hut than a bird's nest. And while the size alone is awe-inspiring, so is the strength of the nest. The nests are strong enough to support the weight of a full-grown person. The impressive size and sturdy construction makes these nests truly unbelievable. Furthermore, they don't seem too picky about where they build them. They demonstrate a wide range of versatility in the choice of nesting sites, and they typically favor the fork of a tree for nest construction, but they've been known to build their nests on cliffs, walls, or even on top of dams. The construction process is an intricate affair, requiring a lot of time and patience. 
It's not uncommon for a nest to include more than 10,000 sticks woven together to create a robust framework. First, hammer cops meticulously layer and interlace these sticks to form a strong base. From there, they add mud to reinforce and insulate the nest against water, and this provides a cozy and well-protected nest for their young to thrive in. And unlike some other types of birds where it's only one side of the species that takes on the task of nest building, both male and female hammer cops take part in the construction of these nests. It's a year-round event for these extraordinary birds. Their diligence knows no bounds, as they've been known to build up to four nests a year, working around the clock to do so. And what's a nest without a little decor? They adorn their nests with an assortment of brightly colored objects too, ranging from feathers and shells to bits of plastic or paper. This gives their nest a pop of color amidst the natural landscape, and these decorative elements ensure that every nest is unique and distinctive. Number 9. Flamingo's Nest Flamingos, of course, are famous for their elegant stature and their stunning pink feathers. But beyond their beauty, these pretty birds have some pretty unbelievable nest-building abilities. These iconic birds build nests that reflect their ability to adapt in diverse environments, as well as their unique breeding habits. Instead of the intricate woven structures that are commonplace in many bird species, flamingos make mounds made of mud, stones, and twigs. These mounds are flat-topped and concave, forming a shallow depression where the eggs are laid. The circular mounds provide a safe and stable platform for incubating their eggs. Now, flamingos are adaptable birds, and where they build their nests varies based on the species and geographical regions. However, as a rule, they tend to choose areas with shallow waters, like mud flats, lagoons, or islands with saline or alkaline lakes. They choose these locations because it provides protection from predators, as well as easy access to their food sources of choice, like algae, shrimp, and other aquatic invertebrates. However, in some cases, flamingos build their nests on these mud islands or along the edges of water bodies. When they build here, they often form vast colonies with thousands of nests clustered together. In fact, flamingos engage in synchronized breeding, with hundreds or even thousands of them engaging in courtship displays at the same time. It is a vibrant and busy breeding environment, and conservation of flamingo nesting sites is critical for the continued survival of these birds. Their breeding grounds are under threat, though, from human activities, habitat destruction, and some disturbances. Efforts to safeguard these busy breeding grounds have been put into place to ensure the long-term conservation of the flamingo population, so they can keep building their mounds of mud safely and securely. Number 8. Taylor Bird Nests some birds weave nests out of twigs and leaves. Some just slap together a mound of mud. But the tailor bird does something a little craftier when it comes to nest building. They sew. Well, the tailor bird is a small and agile songbird found across Asia and parts of Africa. And these industrious birds have gained quite the reputation for crafting some pretty intricate woven nests. What sets this bird apart is its exceptional ability to fashion nests using leaves and plant fibers, which are sewn together with fine threads or spider silk. The bird uses its needle-like beak as a tool. It pierces the leaves and then sews them into a pouch or a cup-shaped structure, which look like a tiny hanging hammock. These delicate yet sturdy nests are usually built in foliage or tree branches, so they blend in seamlessly with the surrounding environment. Now, to build these nests, they meticulously gather a wide range of materials, including leaves, grass, and fibers. They use these strands of spider silk and sew along the edges of the leaves. This sewing technique is unique to the tailor bird, and they're very skilled at it. By sewing the leaves, they're able to construct a secure and insulated nest for their hatchlings. They thrive in diverse habitats, and they're known to build their nests in a wide range of areas, from forests to woodlands to gardens, and even urban areas, as long as there is abundant foliage there. Because they're so adaptable, tailor birds are found across Asia, from the Indian subcontinent to Southeast Asia and parts of Africa. They deliberately sow these nests to blend in with dense foliage. For this reason, tailor bird nests are often highly camouflaged, so predators are hard-pressed to find these unbelievable birds' nests. Moving on to number 7, the Rufus Hornero Nest. The avian world is a fascinating one, and just as birds come in more shapes and sizes and colors than you can imagine, so do their nests. But even within the nest building world, some nests are simply not like the others. The Rufus Hornero has a nest that looks more like an oven than a typical bird's nest. These distinctive birds are found across South America, and their nests have caught the interest and attention of ornithologists and nature enthusiasts worldwide because their dome-shaped nests are in a league of their own. 
To build these nests, this bird uses a blend of clay, mud, and other organic material. They carefully construct their nest to the telltale distinctive oven shape. Unlike traditional avian nests, which are often basket-shaped, the Rufaris hornero nests resemble rustic dome-shaped clay ovens, complete with a small side entrance. They layer and shape the clay until they have themselves a nice, sturdy little oven to raise their young in. One of the standout features of these nests is its durability. The thick walls provide really good insulation against both heat and cold. Even through harsh winter conditions, the nest remains a comfortable temperature inside. These birds are widespread across various habitats in South America, including grasslands, savannas, and urban areas. But they prefer landscapes with access to their building materials of choice. So as long as there's some clay-rich soil or muddy areas nearby, they'll settle in and build their signature nests. Number 6. Bee Eater Bird's Nest If you're looking for a bird's nest that's a little off the bird's nest beaten path, then look no further than the bizarre Bee Eater's Bird Nest. These bird's nests are known for their exceptional design and construction. They're typically burrows dug into soft, sandy cliffs or riverbanks. And to build these nests, the birds burrow their way through the soft material, showing off their expert excavation skills. They work tirelessly carving out tunnels with their powerful beaks and feet and inside you'll find a network of elaborate chambers within the burrow system. Each burrow serves as a multifunctional space, providing shelter for raising their young, protection from predators, and a safe haven from harsh weather conditions. Now, remarkably, bee-eater bird species take part in a collective nesting behavior. It isn't uncommon for multiple pairs to nest in close proximity, so they'll form their own little colonies of burrows in sandy banks or cliffs. They favor areas near rivers, streams, and other bodies of water. And this is because these areas are ripe with the soft soil they need to burrow into. Bee eaters are found across multiple continents. For example, the European bee eater graces the European and North African skies during breeding season, while the blue-tailed bee eater thrives across parts of Asia. The rainbow bee eater inhabits Australia and parts of Southeast Asia, so bee eaters are pretty widespread. And along with their unique nest building abilities, bee eater birds have exceptional hunting prowess. True to their name, bee eater birds eat bees, along with other insects. To catch their prey, they display incredible aerial acrobatics, often snapping up a bee in mid flight. They're also masters at removing a bee's stinger, which is skillfully done before munching down. Furthermore, these beautiful birds showcase a kaleidoscope of colors, with colors ranging from brilliant blues to gorgeous greens to bright yellows. As for nesting, some species are stationary and remain in their nest year-round, while others are migratory, traveling vast distances between their breeding and wintering grounds. But no matter the species, they all have one thing in common. These bee-eating babies like to burrow. Number 5. The Pendulum Tit's Nest if there was a crown for the best bird weaver, then the pendulum tit would wear it proudly. In fact, their nests are so masterfully woven that they've been repurposed by humans throughout history and are used for a wide range of things, from handbags to children's slippers. Their remarkable nests hang like pendulums, and these nests are designed with cunning intricacy. And while the weaving alone is something to marvel at, one of the most remarkable features of these nests is the elaborate false entrance. This false entrance is placed on top of the nest, and it leads to a hidden interior that's accessed by a cleverly concealed sticky flap underneath. Now, this clever design serves as a protective measure, thwarting potential predators so their precious brood remains safe inside. To build these nests, pendulum tits collect a wide array of materials. They've been known to use animal hair, wool, soft plants, and even delicate spider strands to create them. And when they're not engrossed in the careful crafting of their creative nests, pendulum tits can often be spotted perched on small branches, scanning their surroundings for their favorite delicacy, wriggling insects. Now, you'd think that since the nests are so intricate, it would be a build it once and stay in it forever sort of thing. However, that's not the case. Pendulum tits are known for their nomadic behavior, often migrating within their range in search of suitable habitats. These birds inhabit a wide variety of wetlands, including marshes, reed beds, and riversides across Europe, Asia, and parts of Africa. The nests of these pendulum tits are primarily found in wetland environments, often suspended from branches above water or in reed beds and marshy areas. These habitats offer up plenty of materials for this bird's unique nest, and if you thought at first glance that these nests were man-made, you wouldn't be alone. That's how truly extraordinary this bird's weaving ability really is. Number 4. The Montezuma Oropendola In the lush rainforests of Central and South America resides a remarkable bird known for its iridescent black plumage, its bright yellow tail, and its distinctively long, sharply pointed tail feather. 
This is the Montezuma Oropendola. And while the bird's appearance is a sight to behold in and of itself, its nest is equally impressive. The Montezuma Oropendola are social birds. They like to mix and mingle, so they often congregate in large colonies. In fact, there can be hundreds of them together, with their mix of whistles, gurgles, and calls reverberating through the tropical forest. They like it high up, as they build pendulous nests that hang from these high branches of tall trees. They use a variety of vines, twigs, and fibers to weave their nests, and these intricately designed structures can be up to six feet in length. They've got a distinctive appearance, resembling long, woven sacks, featuring a narrow, tubular entrance at the bottom. Now, oddly enough, the size of these nests are colossal in comparison to the size of the bird itself. They clearly have a penchant for spacious real estate. Each nest can accommodate multiple breeding pairs, which fosters a communal living environment within the colony. But their nests aren't just for nesting, they also serve as a display site during courtship. Males often hang from nearby branches, showing off their nest to potential mates. The colonies themselves are highly social, and the Montezuma Oropendola build their nest together in a cooperative manner. They also care for their young communally, too. Now, currently, they don't face immediate threats to their population. However, habitat loss due to deforestation and human encroachment does pose a long-term risk to their existence. So, conservation efforts that focus on preservation of their natural habitats and that raise awareness about the importance of these ecosystems are important if we want to keep these magnificent birds with their stunning nests safe. Number 3. The Cactus Pharyngynus Pygmy Owl not much can thrive in a desert. Arid, hot, and harsh, the desert is not for the faint of heart, unless you're a Cactus pharyngynus pygmy owl. Why? Because these little owls have found a way to thrive amidst a landscape that sucks the life out of most other creatures. How? Well, by building their nests in something abundantly found in the desert. Cactus. The Cactus Pygmy Owl is a small owl with a unique lifestyle, so much so that it's been widely studied by bird enthusiasts from all over the world. And while this little owl has a long list of extraordinary and remarkable features, one of its most interesting features is its nesting behavior. These owls demonstrate an affinity for cacti. Their nests are perched high in the arms of a saguaro cacti or other various desert cacti if the saguaro is not readily available. And these nests represent a striking adaptation to their harsh desert environment. The owls are found in the Sonoran and Chihuahuan deserts in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico, and the bird crafts its nest with cavities among the arms of the branches of large cactus. They often choose natural hollows or old woodpecker holes as sites for their nests, but unlike typical owl nests, which are spacious, these accommodations are often a pretty snug fit. And while their nests are typically small in size, they match the owl's diminutive stature. But how do they handle the desert heat? Well, their nests are well insulated to protect the eggs and young from the extreme desert temperatures. Now, if you're wondering how an owl can build a nest inside a cactus, then it might serve you well to know that they're one of the smallest owl species in North America. They only measure an itty-bitty 6 to 7 inches tall, but don't let their small size fool you. These pint-sized birds are pretty formidable predators, preying on a variety of small mammals, birds, and insects. Their call is a distinctive series of soft whistles, often used for communication between mated pairs or as a territorial signal. Tiny but fierce, the Cactus pharyngynus pygmy owl is a truly a wonder of nature. It's not only found a way to survive in one of the world's harshest climates, but utilizing an abundant vegetation for nesting, this little owl thrives in it. Number 2. The Bald Eagle's Nest Few sights are as breathtaking as the majestic bald eagle in flight. But if you've been lucky enough to see one of these iconic birds' nests for yourself, then you know that its nest is just as glorious as its wingspan. The bald eagle's nest sits high atop the tallest trees in North America, and these colossal structures are sort of like the penthouses of the avian world. These are supersized nests, and they're nothing short of jaw-dropping. Just to put the size into perspective, some bald eagle nests rival the dimensions of a king-sized bed. These avian abodes can measure anywhere from 5 to 9 feet in width and 2 to 4 feet in depth, but some have been recorded as large as 20 feet deep. As for weight, some have weighed as much as 2 tons. 
Now, nests of this magnitude require some pretty sturdy materials. Bald eagle nests are constructed primarily of twigs, branches, and grasses. But to make the nest a little cozier, the nests are often fortified with soft materials like moss, feathers, and other vegetation. Bald eagles are creatures of habit when it comes to nesting. They look for lofty locations, often selecting the tallest trees or the tops of rocky cliffs, overlooking bodies of water like rivers, lakes, or coastlines. Like a true penthouse, this provides them with unobstructed views of their surroundings. But it's not just about those panoramic views. Their preference for waterfront real estate also provides easy access to their primary food source, fish. With their eagle eyes, they can scour the water below and find a fish and then easily bring it back to the nest for their young. But what really sets the bald eagle nest apart is that they tend to keep the same nest year after year. They simply refurbish their nest and expand it, adding layer after layer over the span of decades. For this reason, few nests can rival the pure strength of a highly fortified bald eagle nest. And it only makes sense that a bird of this majesty should have an equally palace-like home. The bald eagle has a wingspan that stretches anywhere from six to seven and a half feet, allowing it to soar gracefully to its nest in the sky. Furthermore, bald eagles are exceptional parents, so it follows they provide their young chick with a high-end nest. Both parents take turns incubating the eggs and feeding the chick, so they work in tandem to ensure the survival of their young. Revered as a symbol of freedom and strength, the bald eagle was chosen as the national emblem of the United States in 1782. Today, the bald eagle signifies power, courage, and resilience, and their nests inspire some awe. Number 1. Hummingbird Nests From the immense nest of the majestic bald eagle, we now turn to the miniature nests of the hummingbird. Hummingbirds are adored for their petite structure and dazzling aerial displays, but their little nests are as amazing as they are. Hummingbirds have an exceptional talent for creating little nests that are like little miniature marvels of architectural finesse. Their nests are as delicate as they are, and among some of the tiniest nests in the world. The nests are the same size as a small cup, but some are so tiny they're small as a thimble. The average size of a hummingbird nest is around the size of a walnut shell, and while this may sound freakishly small, it's the perfect size to snugly cradle the hummingbird's tiny eggs. Furthermore, hummingbirds are masters of camouflage when it comes to nest building. They can only choose materials that blend in seamlessly with their surroundings so their offspring can thrive in a safe and concealed haven. Their nests can be found on tree branches, twigs, or even dangling from delicate plant stems or wires. Now, despite their delicate appearance, however, hummingbird nests have a remarkable elasticity and strength. These nests are built small at first to perfectly fit their eggs, but as the hatchlings grow, the nests expand. And while the nests look like they could blow away in a windstorm, they're remarkably strong. Hummingbird nests are a testament to the saying, good things come in little packages, and these extraordinary nests are whimsical, delightful, and perfect in every way. Which is why the hummingbird nest has earned this top spot on the list of top 15 unbelievable bird's nests. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.